There's better policing when it comes to those in our community with special needs. New tonight, 12 News journalist Adriana Loya reports on a new program happening in Goodyear. When Zachary was five years old, he was diagnosed with autism. He's very sociable, but he's intellectual delayed. Now, as an 11 year old. With his delays, you have to be extremely cognitive on how to word things so we can get kind of the overall result. And knowing how to do that is a top priority for his father, Steve Pomerantz, as well as for the Goodyear Police Department, who wants to better serve those with special needs. We have to make sure that we're proactive in our approach to the public. It's because of people like Zachary or those who might be nonverbal, maybe deaf, have an intellectual disability, or are suffering from other conditions such as dementia, that Sergeant Sean Tyler says the department receives special training and have a toolbox, or a backpack technically, full of items to better connect with vulnerable residents when responding to calls. To help us communicate with someone who's nonverbal. It includes cards with pictures to communicate emotions, headphones for the auditory sensitive, snacks, and sensory toys. All of these part of a program that launched about four years ago that allows residents to voluntarily register in a database and provide critical information for responding officers, including a photo of the person and recommendations on how to approach them if necessary. Each diagnosis requires different interaction tools, uh, responding lights and sirens may not be the best approach for that. We might want to take our lights and sirens, turn those off. We can, um, instead of sending five officers, what could be something that's traumatic, we could say, oh, hey, let's tailor our approach a little bit differently. Let's have one officer start, and if we need more, we can send more later. Just because we know the actual situation, we're not running into something blindly. Currently, about 40 residents are registered in the database. People have to reapply every two years. We don't want to keep a tag on a house where somebody might have moved or a vehicle that might have been sold. How beneficial would you say this program has been for the department to better serve the community here? I think it's essential. Sergeant Tyler says 85% of the department, civilian and sworn employees have been trained. Being on the same page with, with, with our officers is always you know, extremely important, especially with the kids with autism, um, even older adults. Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana, thanks. For more information on how you can register a loved one with special needs, go to 12news.com. There are multiple ways that you can apply.